around 11 things that you need to look out for when in Cuenca. And is Cuenca dangerous? Okay, so compared to other cities that I've been to, like Guayaquil, Quito, I would say Cuenca is safe. I'm not saying it's 100%. Yes, there's things that you guys need to watch out for, which I'm going to go through in today's video. So it's important that you know these things. But I would say it is a lot more peaceful compared to these other cities. And just like everywhere that you travel to, I do feel that it is important to try to learn a little bit of the language. Because being integrated in a community where you can speak to other people, where people know you, it just kind of increases chances of more safety. When you have friends, Friends that live in that town, you know, they can warn you. For example, in Puerto Morelos, my friend was like, yo, man, and the police just told everyone in the street not to come out because there's a guy with a gun, so don't come to this street. It's good to be integrated and, you know, connected with people within that city. So number one is, is high altitude. This is something that might be severe for people and for others, it's not. For example, for me, it was quite difficult working out in the gym. I almost passed out once working out really hard in the gym. I did crazy sets and stuff like that. So one day I was just working out and I almost passed out. I was like, okay, I need to sit, I need to sit. The air is so thin up in Cuenca. And you could like jog a little bit up the stairs and you'd be like, oh my God, that was a hard workout. Okay, number two, obviously being high in the mountains, you are close to UV light from the sun, so you can get sunburned. Like, for example, I was in Mexico playing the Carmen for four years, no, three or two years, and I got a lot of, like, I'm very dark over there, right? So when I went to Cuenca, I was like, oh my god, I, didn't, I got darker. I didn't lose any of my skin color. And I was like, this is real interesting. And I was like, dark, because we're high in the mountains, close to the UV rights. And some people get bad sunburn. So it is really smart to wear some sun cream, protect yourself. Try to get sun cream that doesn't have harmful chemicals in there. Number three is the pollution in the center of the city, but it's not that bad compared to a lot of other cities I've been to. What I really like about Cuenca is that they have made improvements to avoid being a air polluted city. Like the trams that run through the town, I believe they swapped out some engine in the buses to let have a less polluted gas. You can let me know in the comment section below, I don't know too much about that. But that doesn't mean that in the town it still doesn't get polluted due to all the small narrow streets and the buses and stuff like that. So I would be careful in those areas as well. You can always carry one of those PM. 2.5 it's basically is able to pick up the uh pollution in a certain area and then you know then okay i better wear a good mask to protect myself and protect my lungs next one is dogs now quaker kind of reminds me of chiang mai in the sense that there's a lot of dogs everywhere but some dogs are not so nice and not so friendly so you want to be careful i have this caught on video when i was walking up the street to the market and I feel like my confidence got me a bit safer, but never turn your back on a dog because as soon as I turn my, like, on the side, the dog didn't bite me, but it bit my jacket. Personally, I feel like it was trying to give me a warning, but if I was facing the dog confidently, I can tell you the dog would have not attacked me. Ah, you trying to bite me? Bam. Vamos. I'm not saying do this, maybe take this with a grain of salt, but I know for me, sharing no fee, ready to fight another dog, dogs tend not to mess with me unless they're dogs with rabies. I have been chased by one like that, and maybe I'll share that in another video. What's your Shakira? Okay, so let's talk about crimes, okay? So crime rates have increased, of course, just like everywhere else after the pandemic. That has increased in Cuenca. Like, I've heard stories of a woman getting robbed in her own house by someone that, I, I don't know if it was the garden man or some the handyman around the house, he came back and robbed her and her family, which is really sad. I believe the police caught him eventually, so I do hear really good stories about crime getting sorted out there. This is something that isn't happening every day to every single person. It's kind of like a rare 
incident. Another incident, for example, I heard a man who was on a dating app, he put a picture of someone who used dragon breath on him. He had a picture of that person that he went out on a date with. That is very, very rare. I never hear, I've never heard anything like that before until that one time I saw the dating app and that person had a picture on that person saying, hey everyone, watch out, etc, etc. So, I feel like that is a very rare case. What most likely could happen to you is pickpocketing, okay? So you can get pickpocketed in Cuenca. My advice, always have a backpack that you can put in front of you never have anything on the back of you always have it in front the man chest bags are really good as well or even the small ones that you get from you can use for gyms and you can put it within your shirt so it's hidden out of sight as well as that if i was you if you want to be extra safe you can put like your important things in your briefs um, if you're a woman in your privilege i don't know if you want to go to buy something and be like yeah let's let me get some cash out Ew. <laughs> you know, some people might not like that, so maybe do it secretly, <laughs> pull it out. But you want to be, um, you know, if you want to be extra safe, you can do that because there have been people, for example, who have been robbed by gunpoint. And usually this will happen during night hours. What's gonna happen is that they are going to pat you down. They're going to look for whatever you have on you, valuables, jewelry, rings, Anything that they can sell, they're probably going to share. If you have like expensive shirt, they're probably going to take that too. So when you do go out to Ecuador, try to avoid looking like a sore thumb where everyone's going to recognize expensive jewelry, chains, stuff like that. Keep that all inside, locked away in a secure place. As well as that, be wary when people approach you and ask for weird things because sometimes people operate in twos and you have someone behind you looking into your bag. And like I said, that's why you always have it in the front of you, never behind because there are people that will try to distract you to take your money from behind. The next thing is you want to rent homes with really good security okay so if you're gonna go to Cuenca and you're gonna rent somewhere find a place that has good security for example bars on the windows maybe a big gate with the little electricity thing if you're gonna get a house and never leave the door garage door front gate at night just never do that always close it always keep it locked you may never know what type of situation is going to happen when you're away for like one minute and someone sneaks into your property and boom has a gun and then robs your whole house now let's talk about places you should be careful about in Cuenca at night and these are the two places that I know about but there's probably more you can fill me in the comments if you're an expert and being there for longer than me but the bus stop and Ferreira Lebra market place it's like the biggest marketplace near las americas street it's like really big those places you want to be careful i hear a lot of stories about pickpocketing there and i hear my friends telling me to never go there at night i did go there at night just to see if it was dangerous <laughs> nothing happened to me the next thing you need to worry about in cuenca is atms always use atms at a bank or a shopping mall they are much more safer because these ATMs that are not inside a bank outside of the street I completely avoid those because because these ATMs could easily be played with now the club scene because a lot of you guys who are probably watching me do love going out clubbing etc now I've been out clubbing in Ecuador and I can't say that anything dangerous has happened to me I've always that's a lie but majority of the time uh, I've always stayed in crowded places where there's a lot of people. I don't go down dark alleys by myself or anything like that. There has been some streets I walked down by myself. Um, and one day I met this friendly older gentleman who was talking to me. I think he was trying to rob these cakes. But overall, in Cuenca, Ecuador, I personally feel very safe there. I don't feel like I'm at risk or danger. Obviously, I am aware of these things that happen and I do what I need to do to protect myself. The chances of something really bad happening to you is rare. You know, I'm not saying it can't happen, but I'm just saying that it's rare. But hey, let me know in the comment section below if you've ever been to Cuenca before and ever felt unsafe there. If you've ever been robbed or anything like that, let me know all in the comment section below. Thank you so much guys for watching. Smash that like button, make sure to subscribe because I will be uploading more and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.